This was an early 4020, 1964. Um, serial number 89,000, and the other part of the serial number is uh, 22T. So it's just uh, a year or so after the 4010 with a few changes. Just going to go through the routine for leading the hydraulic system. Down on the fuel pump, you can see this has been changed. It's got about 8,500 hours on it. This pump has been changed at one time. The original would have had a sediment bowl uh, upside down on here. And if you ever have trouble with the uh, making oil, it's getting fuel in the oil, this is a good place to start for, uh, for a problem that can uh, leak and leak into the, into the crankcase. There's a little lever here for the primer. Underneath the fuel tank is a fuel shutoff that has to be opened, of course. Now, right now, this engine here, I'm not getting any restriction on this little this little lever. It's just free. So, in order to make this pump work manually with this lever, I would have to rotate the engine to get the camshaft off of the off of the pump arm. So, when you're when you're working this, then that of course uh, brings fuel from the bottom of the tank, goes up into the middle of the filters here. This is the primary filter. Let me get that lighter on there. The bottom one is the primary. The second one is, a, I call it a secondary, but it's a, it's the same filter. And the book says to only replace the top filter, I'd say at the time of engine overhaul or after very much use, but the bottom one is the, uh, is the one that you would change on a regular basis. So the first bleed point is here. There's a little screw just underneath the uh, output line here. So you would work the manual lever with the tank valve open until you get uh, fluid out of this hole here. There's no more air. Then you would work at the top and then uh, that would, once you loosen that off, and you pump and pump again until you fill this top filter and get any air out of there. The bottom at, of the primary filter you can see a little valve there. That would be for checking it occasionally It'll, in case you've gotten water in with the fuel. It'll, it'll rest in there and you can let it out the bottom. So after that the fuel follows this line and it goes into, uh, there's a, a possibly a check valve in here and there is certainly a big centered bronze uh, fuel filter in there to keep any dirt out of the system from getting into the pump head. Uh, so if you're having problems, if you want to do pressure tests, if you get, uh, this little bung comes out, I don't know if you can see that little guy right there, take him out, uh, eighth inch pipe is close enough to the threads of this bung here, if you turn it in by hand you won't do any harm, then uh, by working the manual pump you should be able to get four or five uh, pounds pressure on a, on a, like a zero to fifteen gauge or something, you can get four or five pounds pressure by working the manual pump over there and at cranking you should get maybe 25-30 psi at this bung here because the vein pump on the inside of the pump will be will be making pressure here which will uh, feed the plunger system on the inside of the pump there so the uh, here is the return line you can see that's coming out uh, let's try and get the camera angle here fit for you So here's the return line. This goes up past the injectors. So each across here, so as these injectors are working, later models will have pencil injectors. These are still the early 25 millimeter ones. So as we follow along, the, the return line goes across all the injectors. It goes up to here and ultimately comes to here. And drops into the into the tank as a return. This is a vent for the tank here that has to be kept clean, and that's about it for the for the bleeding the fuel system. Once you've got the the fuel coming out these different ports, and you're working where your way back to the pump. There's another uh, so there's another bleed. I believe it to be right there. That was the last one after after this one. That one. And then this one that does a lot of the a lot of the bleeding for you. And then if you've got fuel coming there, then uh, then you should be on your way. If the fuel won't come up, you've had to set the system apart for some reason. Then uh, loosen the lines off until you get fuel pumping here. Then uh, then close the lines up, and it should get the fuel up to the injectors. You can loosen them at the injectors, and then uh, fill them with fuel first, and then close them up. That also works. 
Anyway, have a good day.